three, two, one. The roll program is in on time. Vehicle response is normal. Vibration levels appear to be very low. The pale blue speck you are looking at is that of the Earth from Voyager 1's point of view as it hurled past Saturn's rings and is now more than 24 billion kilometers or 15 billion miles away from Earth, further from anything that you know has ever existed. And still it journeys across the solar system, inching closer and closer from escaping into intergalactic space to be free of all we have ever known. Voyager 1 and two, both had a singular unifying mission to embark on an epic journey to the outer limits of the solar system and beyond, venturing further than any human-made objects in history. These intrepid probes were to find out more about Jupiter's raging storms, Saturn's majestic rings, Uranus's tilted orbit, Neptune's mighty winds, and even interstellar space mysterious edge. But what they found was much more than scientists had theorized. Voyagers 1 and 2 peeled back the veil shrouding the outer solar system's majestic giants and ethereal edge to reveal profound insights and stunning images of these uncharted alien worlds. The secrets the probes found ultimately changed what we think of our solar system and may also reveal if life is possible in planets of the solar system and the future of humanity. Soon after Voyager 1 and 2 were launched, they overcame unimaginable interstellar lengths to hurl past our closest stellar neighbor and we were given a glance to what awaited us on our dear sister planet. Mars, our closest neighbor. The twin Voyager spacecraft gave us an unprecedented close-up view of Mars as they swung past the red planet. Voyager 1 came within 5,000 miles, close enough to see details as small as 8 miles across. It revealed Mars to be a world both familiar and alien, with ancient impact basins, giant volcanoes, deep canyons and weathered polar ice caps similar to Earth yet also more geologically active than scientists anticipated. However, what truly astonished researchers was the complexity of Mars's thin, cold atmosphere. Voyager found fierce 300 miles per hour jet stream winds in Mars's upper atmosphere, as well as unexpectedly frigid temperatures plunging to minus 184 degrees Fahrenheit. This indicates the presence of complex atmospheric dynamics that researchers still do not fully understand. The instruments on Voyager detected traces of water vapor, carbon monoxide, oxygen and ozone, providing clues about the Martian climate billions of years ago when conditions may have allowed liquid water to flow. Would this be a possible indicator of life? From above, Mars's surface appeared much more Earth-like than the Moon or Mercury, yet also more desolate. The haunting vistas of dried-up riverbeds, massive flood channels, and shattered impact craters captured by Voyager 1 fed our imagination for one day, sending rovers and even human explorers to unlock Mars's secrets. The tantalizing mysteries revealed in Voyager's photographs helped inspire over 50 more robotic missions to explore Mars in the decades since. Those orbiters, landers and rovers have found evidence that this world once had lakes, rivers, perhaps even microbial life, and they continue to analyze rocks and soil for the potential existence of life's chemistry on modern-day Mars as well. Voyager gave us our first glimpse of Mars as a real place an alien world shaped by extremes of temperature, racked by global dust storms, yet still recognizable with familiar features that beckon us to explore further. But it did not prepare us for the monster that is Jupiter. Jupiter up close, giant storms and turbulent skies. In the vast expanse of our solar system, Jupiter reigns as a colossal giant, captivating scientists and stargazers alike. Positioned as the fifth planet from the Sun, Jupiter's sheer size is nothing short of awe-inspiring. 
with a diameter surpassing 86,000 miles, 139,822 kilometers, it dwarfs Earth, stretching more than 11 times wider. Yet, it's not just the expanse of Jupiter that commands attention. Its mass is equally staggering, boasting over 318 times the size of our home planet. Beneath its captivating facade of swirling, colorful clouds lies a complex atmosphere primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, along with traces of methane, water vapor, and ammonia near its poles. The twin voyagers found Jupiter to be a planet in constant turmoil, with colossal storms swirling above a deep atmosphere rich in methane, water, ammonia, and complex organic compounds. From close range, the gas giant loomed impressively, its great red spot revealing itself as an enduring megastorm, wider than two Earths, churning for over 300 years. This legendary anticyclone proved more massive than scientists predicted, with cloud towers rising 50 kilometers high and winds exceeding 400 miles per hour in its high atmosphere. Yet, the voyagers also discovered smaller storms on Jupiter that came and went over mere months in the turbulent Jupiter skies before disappearing from view. Bolts of lightning a thousand times more powerful than Earth's flashed in the ancient storm. Each of the colorful cloud bands the voyagers mapped contained complex, ever-changing jet stream patterns and vortices unseen from Earth. Far below, inferred wind speeds clocked 10 times faster than the most powerful tornadoes on our planet. The multitude of moons and faint rings orbiting Jupiter provided their own share of surprises. Io's surface was covered in strange yellows and oranges. Then, volcanologists realized those colors came from over 100 active lava flows on the moon's surface, driven by tectonic forces from Jupiter's immense tidal gravity. A few years later, astronomers witnessed new eruptions through their telescopes. Ganymede's cratered ice fields validated it as a tiny internally heated planet in its own right and the hydrocarbon lakes on the mirror-smooth Europa offered hints that it harbors a liquid saltwater ocean, twice the volume of Earth's, swirling far below just a few miles of spectacular ice crust, making it perhaps the most likely place to find extraterrestrial life in our solar system. Europa, ocean world with potential for life, as Voyager took in breathtaking images of Jupiter's icy moon Europa, from its cracked icy plains to its strange disrupted terrain, it revealed a world that scientists believe houses a vast interior ocean, making it one of the most promising places to search for alien life in our solar system. Though Europa's surface may be 100 miles thick and riddled with deep crevices and frozen lakes, Scientists analyzing magnetic readings discovered evidence of a churning saltwater ocean lurking 50 miles beneath this icy exterior. Based on heat output, experts estimate this subsurface sea could contain almost twice as much liquid water as planet Earth. Unlike the icy crusts of Mars and the Moon, Europa's ice shell experiences daily flexing, spreading cracks that could allow upwelling from Europa's ocean to reach the frozen surface. That offers an opportunity to sample water from a warm habitat that contains all the elements life needs – liquid water, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. With more missions to Europa planned in the coming decade equipped with ice-penetrating radar, experts hope to identify future landing sites where we may directly sample water welling up from the hidden ocean. By analyzing traces in the subsurface ocean, we can assess whether basic life forms inhabit Europa's dark ocean depths. From Voyager's discovery, this Jovian moon moves to the forefront in our search for alien life in our own solar system. Circling the Lord of the Rings – Saturn's Dazzling System When the Voyagers conducted their close flybys of Saturn in 1980-81, scientists hoped to learn more about its dazzling system of rings, the planet's visual calling card visible even through small telescopes, and indeed, they found activity and complexity there far beyond expectations. The icy particles making up Saturn's rings ranged from the size of dust grains to small cars, orbiting at varying speeds around the planet, 
This created strange braided patterns within the larger rings, almost like ripples across a pond. Shepherd moons like Prometheus and Pandora were found guiding these intricate movements, sculpting edges and creating gaps between rings. Smaller moons actually traveled amidst the rings, carving trenches in spikes like embedded gems. Voyager 1 watched in awe as mysterious ghostly spokes seemed to come and go within Saturn's rings every few hours before fading, likely caused by electromagnetic effects from the planet or dust rain from tiny meteors. While the main A, B and C rings shone brilliantly, Voyager also identified more diffuse, darker rings and ringlets extending much further from the planet. Saturn's airy blue Titan proved one of the most fascinating discoveries. Its thick, hazy atmosphere was impenetrable by cameras, but Voyager saw tantalizing surface features through the globe-enshrouding orange haze using radar imaging. Rivers and lakes of liquid methane dotted a surface with weather similar to Earth's hydrologic cycle, albeit at minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures. Icy cratered satellites like Rhea, Dione, and Iapetus offered their own surprises, from mysterious two-tone surfaces to indications of recent geologic activity, reshaping their surfaces. Voyager 2's images of cratered icy moons like Rhea, Dione, and Iapetus would set the stage for later robotic explorers like Cassini to reveal their secrets. Neptune – Giant Storms and Active Moons when Voyager 2 made its final flyby of Neptune in 1989, scientists expected a relatively calm, bland twin of Uranus. Instead, they found raging storms and exotic, active moons, unlike any worlds seen before. Neptune's atmosphere proved more violent than predicted. Great dark spots dotted the blue globe, left by giant anticyclonic storms similar in size to Earth. One such megastorm system was observed to slowly drift across Neptune's sky before dissipating. This spot too, and other fast-moving lighter cloud features, indicated complex and changing wind patterns within the deep atmosphere, reaching up to 1500 km per hour. From the volcanically active Triton, with erupting nitrogen geysers, to the cracked surface of Nereid, Voyager 2 found Neptune's moons surprisingly variable despite the great distance from the Sun. Triton's mysterious melted landscape and retrograde orbit suggest Neptune likely captured this world in the distant past. Additional tiny inner moons newly found by Voyager bear names rooted in Greek god mythology associated with the sea. While appearing serene in telescopic views from afar, the Voyager 2 flyby proved Neptune and its moons to exhibit high geologic activity and atmospheric dynamism. The diversity of exotic features hinted that many more surprises await regarding the solar system's little understood frozen worlds, spurring additional robotic missions to explore Neptune in more detail. Even three decades after Voyager, this planet holds countless unknowns for researchers to ponder interstellar space and the boundary of the heliosphere. The Voyager's journeys did not end after their planetary encounters. Today, Voyagers 1 and 2 continue their epic journey toward interstellar space at the fringe of the heliosphere, the bubble of charged particles blown out from the Sun. In 2012, Voyager 1's particle detectors finally measured a permanent spike in the fast-moving cosmic rays from interstellar space indicating it had crossed the heliopause where the solar wind peters out. As light takes over 19 hours to cover the new distance, Voyager 1 phones home on faint power at 1 billion miles from Earth. Last year, Voyager 1 looked back at the envelope of the heliosphere from beyond and found a surprising new layer scientists call the Magnetic Highway. Voyager 1 continues to forge a path into interstellar space and observe how the Sun interacts with the space between the stars. Voyager 2 will likely cross the heliopause within the next few years, giving us a second Voyager exploring the true outer reaches of explored space. This video might have come to an end, but the story of the universe has barely even been scratched. There is much more to explore and cover. If you'd like to be a part of this epic journey, please do consider liking and subscribing to join us further. That's all we have for today, and as always, 
Thanks for watching.